Another mild case of COVID-19 landing in BC isn't cause for alarm, but this traveler visited Iran. Experts say it's a sign something bigger might be happening. We didn't consider Iran as a place where there was transmission of COVID-19. So um, that set up uh, quite a number of warning bells for us. This latest Canadian case raises fears that the virus is spreading with dangerous speed, not just across Asia, but in countries no one expected. The cases we see in the rest of the world, although the numbers are small, but not linked to Wuhan or China, it's very worrisome. Just days ago, Iran wasn't reporting any cases of COVID-19. Now it has 18 and four deaths. The source of the infection is unknown, but China is one of Iran's biggest trading partners. This infectious disease specialist says Iran might have hundreds of cases. And the real question is, you know, how much disease burden is in Iran? And do they have the capacity to really get this under control? South Korea is also seeing a surge in patients reportedly linked to a church congregation. And a cluster of cases in northern Italy has now shut down schools and public events. At least 16 people are sick, including health workers. COVID-19 has now been detected in at least 31 countries outside of China. While the vast majority of cases involve travel from China, the virus is spreading. And we have to really be prepared for a possible scenario where there's more widespread transmission throughout the world. Canada's chief public health officer says there are no new travel advisories or additional screening questions at airports, but says travelers should be vigilant and let health authorities know if they've traveled to an affected country and are now having flu-like symptoms. Christine Burak, CBC News, Toronto.